update on the titanium 125 flux core gasless welding machine here i did build a few items here with it uh, this is a planter's box has automatic watering features I drilled holes and the PVC pipe there all around but of course that's not what the welder had done this is the frame uh, probably should have used a sanding disc on the 90s but uh, you can see the grinding marks And this is what I had built with the titanium 125 flux core gasless welder here. And I have had no issues with it so far. I will go over a couple of things here. I also built this. Here's a steel table. Just got done with this today. Put rollers on it as well. I like to put rollers on everything. Th that weld didn't turn out too well. A lot of the welds I just ground down. Here's a little tray that I made with it. The little hook is to put my welding helmet. Just kind of threw something together with some scrap that I had here to make a little tray. Should have 45 the angles here would have looked a lot better, but I can always stick pliers in there, or whatever I need to to hold it. Always looking for stuff to hold items. Just built my cross member bar here. Uh, supports for the legs up underneath. I really didn't try to clean up the welds that much. Not like I did here on the outside edges. 45 the corners, welded all that up. But that is what the Flux Core 125 welder has done as well give you a better look here at the table rollers overall i'm very impressed with the machine now I have noticed after welding for quite some time, a lot of it's just kind of tack weld, it's putting stuff together is mainly what I'm doing. But this, this tip here, just like any other tip on any other welding machine, it gets corroded or it gets a bunch of splatter, stuff like that. You got to kind of keep it clean. But I did notice once I changed the tip out here, it created a lot better uh, arc. The beads were a lot more easier uh, to put down as well. So that's about the only complaint that I could find out with this machine. The settings, uh, they're just, they're so nice on here. And I don't think in my previous video that I went over the settings that well. So I'll go over the settings again. I don't think you could have saw them that well or seen them. There's the settings right there. And then here's the settings here. I also will say that this gun 
for me just seems, I mean, it's okay, but it just seems kind of, kind of cheesy. So I don't know if you can get another gun for this or not. It does work. And, you know, overall, I am pretty happy with it. But if I was going to sit here and nitpick, I would say the gun is really not that good. But overall, functionality-wise, it does perform very well. Almost went through a whole spool of the O35 Vulcan wire. Also, on my previous video, I didn't go over this too well. And, and this, I did say not to tighten it too much. And this here, if you try to over tighten it, it has a stopping point where it does not over tighten. So this, you can pretty much go all the way down and it has kind of its own, like I said, stopping point, at least from what I can see. And this here, it's very important not to, there's a spring right up in here. I don't know if you can see it. That spring is like a tensioner. So you don't want this too tight. That way the, the spool spins around really easily. This is a table that I built here. I'm gonna do another video on one of the saws that I got. Uh, the Dewalt compound miter saw. And I just kind of slapped some boards together and screwed them together. You probably need to put a cross member piece over here for better stability. Put my grinding disc right here. Got screws just to where I can put stuff. Got a wire brush hanging there. But overall, this is an update on the Titanium 125 Easy Flux Harbor Freight Gasless Welder. Uh, used it some more, built a couple items, I'm very impressed with it.